Hello. Um, was doing the dishes. Was contemplating on, you know, I saw a lot of celebration in the streets um, in different states. Um, and yeah, I see a lot of people are, are celebrating and happy for the outcome of, well, I guess, the presumed outcome of what of the elections. Um, I mean, I don't want to focus too much on elections, but that was something that jumped out to me. Um, and God did put this this scripture in my heart when I when I was thinking about that. I mean, I just was just seeing all the people celebrating. You know, people who are outside the White House celebrating, and you know, the thing is that, that celebration it's it's you know it really depends on who's coming from. You know, um, and it made me think of the scripture. In James 4, verse 4, do you know that, well, the whole scripture says, adulterers and adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. And the reason why, I mean, to me, that why that jumped out to me is just not about, you know, I guess a lot of people are celebrating on the person that was defeated you know, but, and the person who was put in his place, and I'm speaking vague, and I choose to speak this way, um, but the thing is, it's not just what is in effect, it's the person who's going to be in charge, but the policies that represent that person, you know, and the policies that are going to come in, come in place with that person who, who was put in power, so, just just something to be mindful of, you know, when we see everybody celebrating, everybody's so happy because they think that something great has happened, but we, we're in, we're in some interesting days, next few years, uh, last few years, and now, and what's to come, you know, it definitely is very, I guess, what's the word, it's, I guess, just something for us to very to pay attention to. Um, but I, that's all I wanted to say in regards to that. Um, so have a blessed day, and remember, God is with you always in Christ Jesus. Lean on Him no matter what, no matter what you're going through. Lean on God. Pray to Him. Talk to Him as if you would talk to a parent, as if you talk to a friend. Talk to Him. Realize that Jesus is there. You call out to him, he will come to you and he will he will restore he will restore you. No matter what you're going through, it, it sometimes these things take time. Because I know personally it's a journey. And I think the whole point of it being a journey is so that we can grow, you know. Um, when you plant something in the ground it takes time to grow, for it to bear fruit. It's going to overcome certain things, trials, tribulations, you know the things of external nature but if once we do once you, once if the right things are done and you trust in the lord you will continue to grow and bear fruit and that's what god wants for us in this life for us to grow to endure and bear fruit for his kingdom so continue to trust in god in christ jesus have a blessed day